Edin, many, many congratulations. A, a huge win, a 4-3 win over Ali Carter, and, and you're in your first ranking event quarterfinal. Just how much does it mean to you to, to finally get into that quarterfinal stage? Yep, it means a lot. Um, I've been working hard recently, and um, it's, it's paying off now, so very pleased. Obviously, Ali Carter, a, a huge figure in the game, two-time world finalist. Um, so I suppose getting over the line and finally getting to the quarterfinals against a player of his stature must make it all, all the more special. Yep, it's, uh, it's probably one of the best wins of my career so far. Um, so yeah, so happy. And when you were three one down there, what, what was your kind of thought process to try and kind of keep yourself kind of feeling as if you're in the game? I mean, obviously Ali's a great player, but you, you didn't give up and you, you kept going. Well, to be honest, um, I was ahead in the first frame, and he's he's dished up and nicked it. Um, so I knew I was playing well. Um, I had I think I had a one visit to go one each. So I I know I'm hitting the ball well. Um, so I just thought if I can go three two. He might get a little bit edgy, um, and then try and get a decider. Um, yeah, so it's it's worked out. And obviously, it's a huge turnaround for you. We were speaking the other day, and uh, it was quite a difficult time after losing your first round match at World Championship qualifying. You seeing you actually snapped your cue, but now you, you know you've gone from potentially giving up the game to now reaching a course final and a consistent last sixteen. Yep, I broke my cue after the Worlds. I thought I was I was going to um, give up the game. To be honest. Um, but I just, I just uh, a few family members and um, one of my coaches back home, Richie McDonald. He, he just sort of helped me and he, he su supported me to carry on. And um, I've just got a new Maximus Q about six weeks ago, which I love. Um, and ever since then, like I, f I feel like my game's coming on. So hopefully it continues. And, well, what a turnaround, because now you're about to face former world champion Peter Ebden in, in the quarterfinal of a ranking event. It, it must be quite an exciting prospect to go ahead tomorrow. Yep, Peter's, Peter's a great player, um, world champion. Um, so I've just, um, I've just enjoyed the experience. And um, to be honest, I, I don't really f focus on who I'm playing. I just concentrate on myself and um, I just try my best on every shot.